Welcome to Brain Booster. Ever wondered why camels have humps? We'll delve into that shortly, but first, let's meet the different types of camels. There are three species, the dromedary, the bactrian, and the wild bactrian camel. The dromedary, which makes up 90% of the world's camel population, is known for its single hump and long curved neck. It calls the Middle East and Central Australia home. The Bactrian camel, both wild and domesticated, sports two humps and is found in Central Asia. The wild Bactrian camel, a critically endangered species, inhabits isolated regions of China and Mongolia. Contrary to popular belief, there's no such thing as a three-humped camel even with crossbreeding between Bactrian camels and dromedaries. All three species are tall, with dromedary camels averaging 6 feet and Bactrian camels reaching around 7 feet in height. Now, let's turn our attention to the camel's most distinctive feature, its hump. Many people are under the impression that camels store water in their humps. However, this is a myth. The hump, in fact, stores fat which can be converted into energy and water when resources are scarce. This fat storage also serves another purpose. It helps the camel stay cooler in the desert heat. Instead of being covered in insulating fat, the camel has a concentrated storage area, allowing it to better withstand the sweltering temperatures. Camels are fascinating creatures, equipped with a variety of adaptations to survive in harsh, desert environments. From their three eyelids and double set of eyelashes to keep out dust and sand, to their extra thick lips that allow them to eat thorny plants, these animals are the epitome of resilience and resourcefulness. They have thick pads of skin on their chest and knees to protect them from hot sand and large flat feet that prevent them from sinking into the sand. Even their nostrils are designed to close and keep out dust. Such adaptations allow them to rest for prolonged periods without strain or discomfort. So, next time you see a camel, remember its hump is not a water tank but a fat storage. How do camels survive in the harsh desert environment? Deserts are arguably the most unforgiving environments on Earth with extreme temperatures, scarce water, and a barren landscape. Camels, however, have evolved over millennia to not only survive, but thrive in these conditions. Their bodies are a testament to nature's ingenuity, equipped with a number of adaptations that allow them to endure where most animals cannot. Let's start with their eyes. Camels have three eyelids and two rows of eyelashes. This isn't a beauty statement. It's a practical adaptation. These extra layers help shield their eyes from the relentless desert sun and keep out the dust and sand that's constantly whipped up by desert winds. And then there are their lips. They're thick and tough, allowing camels to munch on thorny desert plants that other animals would avoid. This opens up a whole menu of food options that help them survive in such a sparse environment. The desert ground can be scorching hot, but camels are prepared for this too. They have thick pads of skin on their chests and knees. These act like built-in cushions, protecting them from the hot sand when they sit or kneel down. Their feet are also marvels of natural engineering. They're broad, flat, and leathery, designed to distribute their weight evenly and prevent them from sinking into the soft sand. This makes camels excellent desert trekkers, able to cover vast distances without getting stuck. To top it all off, camels can even close their nostrils. This comes in handy during sandstorms, preventing dust and sand from getting into their respiratory system. All these features combine to create an animal that's incredibly well-suited to desert life. From their eyes to their feet, every part of a camel's body has been shaped by the demands of the desert, helping them thrive in an environment where few others can. Clearly, camels are well-equipped to deal with the harsh realities of desert life. While camels don't store water in their humps, they are masters at conserving it. How do they do it? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of these desert dwellers to unravel this mystery. Contrary to the popular belief that camels store water in their humps, these iconic humps are actually reserves of fatty tissue. This fat can be broken down into water and energy when sustenance is not readily available, an incredible adaptation to the harsh desert environment where food and water can be scarce for long periods. But the camel's water conservation strategy doesn't stop there. Dromedary camels, for instance, utilize a process known as heterothermy to regulate their body temperature throughout the day. This means that their body temperature can fluctuate depending on the environmental conditions, allowing them to avoid sweating and therefore conserve water during the scorching desert heat. This is a truly remarkable adaptation as most mammals maintain a stable body temperature, which often leads to excessive sweating and water loss in hot conditions. Now, 
Imagine stumbling upon an oasis after days of parched trekking through the desert. You'd probably want to drink as much water as possible, right? Well, camels do just that. When these desert giants come across a water source, they can guzzle up to an astonishing 26 gallons in a mere 10 minutes. That's almost 300 standard water bottles. This ability to rapidly rehydrate is crucial for their survival in arid environments where water sources are few and far between. So while the camel's hump doesn't store water as we once believed, these resilient creatures have evolved a suite of extraordinary adaptations to conserve and utilize water in some of the planet's harshest conditions. Whether it's through the ability to break down fat reserves into water, the capacity to regulate body temperature to prevent water loss, or the skill to quickly rehydrate when water is available, camels truly are the kings of water conservation in the animal kingdom. Did you know camels are social creatures with a complex communication system? That's right. These desert dwellers have more going on than just surviving in the harsh climates. They also form intricate social structures. Let's start with the size of their groups. Camels typically travel in herds with groups composed of as many as 30 individuals. Within these herds, there's a family unit and like many social animals, it's often one dominant male leading the pack. This dominant male is responsible for the safety of the group and also has the exclusive right to mate with the females. But what about the babies? Well, baby camels, known as calves, aren't in a rush to leave their mothers. In fact, they stay with their mothers for an extended period of time, typically between three to five years after birth. This close bond allows the calves to learn the ways of the desert and the social dynamics of the herd from their mothers. Now, you might be wondering, how do these camels communicate with each other? They don't have cell phones or social media, right? Well, camels have their unique way of staying in touch. They communicate using a variety of sounds, including moans and bellows. These sounds can be used to express a range of emotions or intentions, from a simple greeting to a warning signal. It's also worth noting that camels have a keen sense of hearing. This sense, combined with their vocal expressions, enables them to maintain contact with each other even over large distances in the vast desert. So the next time you see a camel, don't just see a desert wanderer. See a social creature with a complex communication system, living in a structured community and nurturing its young. Because camels are not just desert wanderers, they have rich social lives too. Camels are not just survivors, they are hard workers too. But how much can a camel carry? Let's delve into the astonishing work ethic of these desert dwellers. Both species of domestic camels, the dromedary and the bactrian, are renowned for their strength and endurance. They are often referred to as the workhorses of the desert, and for good reason. The Bactrian camel, with its two humps and sturdy build, can carry up to a staggering 440 pounds in a single day. That's roughly the weight of a grand piano or a small car. Even in extreme heat, these camels will trudge on, unyielding and resolute. On the other hand, the single-humped dromedary camel can haul up to 220 pounds. That's like carrying an adult male lion on its back all day, every day. It's a testament to their amazing strength and resilience. But it's not just about strength, it's about distance too. With just a single rider, a camel can easily cover 62 miles in a day. That's roughly the distance from New York City to Philadelphia, all in one go. And they do this at a pace of around six to seven miles per hour. It's like running a marathon, but in the scorching heat of the desert. But what makes this feat even more impressive is that they do it day in and day out, for years on end. They work tirelessly, without complaint, serving as invaluable companions to their human caretakers. Whether it's carrying goods for trade or providing transportation across the vast desert, camels have proven to be reliable and hardworking partners, embodying a spirit of endurance and perseverance. So the next time you see a camel, remember they're not just interesting creatures with humps on their backs. They are incredible athletes built for both survival and hard work, navigating through some of the harshest environments our planet has to offer. Camels are not only built for survival, but also for endurance and strength. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.